what is up you guys it is the mice 45 here and in this video i'm here to give you guys a hands-on video and a quick look at the new update that just came to an app called exposed installer which is now version 2.6 now if you don't know what exposed installer is it's basically a framework where you can install basic modules to customize the experience that you have on your Android device piece by piece and if you don't want like you know all the features that one custom ROM can give you you can just customize and modify different parts of your Android device without having to install the whole custom ROM which gives you all the features if you don't want all the features you can install this and install only certain parts of the Android system without needing to install custom ROM to get all the features and as you guys may know this is good for people who don't want to customize everything on their Android device and just wants to limit their self limit themselves to only a little bit of customization on their Android device to a certain extent and I do also need to warn you guys that this app is only available this app will only work if you have root access if you don't know how to root your Android device just search on Google and type in how to root space the name of your Android device and you're bound to find a uh, guide that can help you out with your specific Android device and once you do that and you want to get this app I left a link to it in the video description below to the APK file that you can install and once you do that once you download the APK make sure you make sure that unknown sources is checked for your specific Android device for some it's in settings then security and then it's in unknown sources and you have to make sure it's checked now depending on your Android device it may vary for you so if you want to if you want to make sure that unknown sources is checked for your specific Android device just search on Google and you'll find a way then you can install the APK you will get this app and the first time you open it it will tell you that your framework is not updated and you need to update it right away to do that go into framework then tap install slash update and then this will pop up just tap ok and it will reboot your Android device and once it does you will be back at your lock screen you can go and unlock it go back into the app and from here you can download different modules which are things that basically add to the functionality and the customization of your Android device which are focused on different parts of the Android system to customize your experience and if you want to get more what you call modules you can tap the download section and you can just basically scroll up and down to find a module that you want to get now what's new in this update is a few things one there are performance tweaks uh, here and there there are bug fixes all that stuff and basically fixes a lot of things behind the hood and it basically just uh basically just uh okay according to the update here it's a fresh new ui as you can see that there's a new logo here which is made by dd ripper i i, I kind of like it it's kind of cute not really cute i mean it's okay and it detects it also brings detection of several known issues and a release type selection and stuff many internal improvements in the framework and there's better compatibility and performance and overall there's more a uh, there's more um, <coughs> compatibility and performance in the framework itself and a few noticeable changes is one everything is white now instead of black and you can change that if you go into the settings of this you can change that if you go into a sentence you can edit the theme here change it to light dark darker black but black according to the framework is only should be used only for AMOLED screens so if your phone doesn't have or if your smartphone or tablet 
running Android doesn't have an AMOLED screen, then that might be mostly useless. And now, also in the download section now, every all the boxes now are not on the left, they're now moved to the right, which I think makes more sense now. Also, in the download section, if you now tap a specific, a, uh, if you now tap a specific module, instead of scrolling all the way down to get to the new version of the module, you can now swipe left or right to access to see new versions of the of the specific module itself, and you can download whatever version you think. You can download the latest version of the module, or if it doesn't work for you, you can download an older version, update to the newest one, and, and basically, guys, that's a really, that's the only updates that I've seen that this update has brought to Expose and saw are just a few compounding performance tweaks, a new UI with a card-like UI, uh different ways to download and everything basically more bug fixes and stuff like that and from there guys that's it really that's my uh, hands-on video and that's my quick look at the exposed framework update which is now version 2.6 and yeah that's it guys so if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, or if you have any problems downloading this or installing this or whatever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demisa45, signing off.